<laughs> you ever get one of those times when you're just settling into a nice hot bath? You lay back and you just think, oh Lord, this feels so good. And your muscles begin to unwind. Your mind begins to loosen. You begin to just kind of relax. Take it easy. You know, if you had candles, you lit them. If you had bubble baths, you put it in. Male or female. <laughs> if you just wanted hot, hot, scalding water to just cleanse you and to just scrub all the dead flesh off of you that, you know, our skin does re, you know, juvenile and revitalize, so you kind of got to get some of that scrapey stuff so you can scrape off your dead skin, you know. That, uh, but then you get that moment where you just lay back, relax, and then God says, Michael. What, Lord? You stink. But, 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 but Lord, I'm in the bathtub. I can't stink. It's just, no, I want you to tell them you stink. What do you mean? Well, Michael, you have body odor. Your spiritual hygiene sucks. You're not taking care of yourself spiritually the way I want you to. So you, you kind of need to improve your hygiene a little bit. You need to uh, add a little old spice to your life. Put some body deodorant on because, frankly, in my body of Christ, something stinks and it smells like pits as a matter of fact I think some people are digging some deep pits and they need some deodorant and they really need some antiperspirant you know why um, Lord yeah, could you hold that thought for a little bit I'm in the bathtub naked <laughs> Do you know why, Michael, my body stinks? Uh, no, Lord. You know why I want you to tell him about pits? Uh, no, Lord, not really. Do you know why I want you to tell him about personal hygiene? Spiritual hygiene? Uh, not really, Lord. Because they are judging one another. They are digging a pit that they're perspiring in. They're working so hard at condemning people, they're not saving people. Well, yeah, Lord, but that's kind of goes with the territory. You know, it's like once you're saved, you now that you are saved, you get to pick on everybody else that is saved to straighten up their act because you don't want, you know, them to know about your acting out Christianity than living the truth of Christianity. Michael? Can you hold that for a minute, Lord? Can I watch my hair first? Michael. What, Lord? Spiritual hygiene. Yes, Lord. Tell them they stink. Yes, Lord. And tell them why. <sighs> you know, you would think that living with God would be like a holy experience, that you just get to do whatever you want, Go wherever you go, think whatever you want, and do whatever you want to. But you know, God has this funny way of getting in my face. He always talks to me in the bathtub. And some days I kind of skip taking a bath that day because I don't want to hear it. Because <laughs> he's always talking to me. He's always telling me something. But you know this idea of stinking? Your body perspires when it exercises. And so, when the body of Christ is exercising something it shouldn't be doing, do you think maybe it's overdoing it a little bit? Could it be that maybe we're flexing and pexing in the wrong place at the wrong time? Maybe if it was like walking with God in a regular way, 
We wouldn't sweat so much. We wouldn't work at it so hard. Maybe it wouldn't be works of righteousness, but it might be mercy and grace. You know, as God began to speak to me in that bathtub less than a few minutes ago, <laughs> sheesh, Lord, I began to think about that. You know that prayer is like a fragrance, a sweet-smelling fragrance to God. So I thought, you know, Lord, <laughs> I like smelling good. I like looking good. I don't like stinking. I sure don't like stinking thinking. So, you think maybe, God, that some of that is like stinking thinking that's gotten caught up into maybe living right and having a good spiritual hygiene? You know? And the Lord kind of like said, you know, Michael, you could overdo anything, so take it easy on the body spray. Because <laughs> it's too easy to hide the odors that stay. Oh, so you mean like maybe I should be praying instead of spraying? Yeah. So, today, if you've got body odor, can I make a suggestion? Could you get some antiperspirant on? Could you maybe take the time to do some spiritual hygiene? To work on who you are in the body of Christ? So that you're not stinking up the place with yourself. In other words, if you're not mindful of what you're doing to others, and you don't ask them if you stink, how do you know? I know my wife has no problem telling me, Honey, you need a breath mint. <laughs> honey, honey, what dear? Deodorant. Okay. Honey, no, I don't want to know this time. I'm with the guys. I can stink all I want to. No, you can't. And no, you shouldn't. You should be aware that you are taking care of who you are inside by your spiritual hygiene, by being made ready for the day each day as you prepare to meet the day with the Lord. And frankly, if you really understand that God is real, I think you're going to want to clean up your act a little bit because if you are condemning some of the other people that are in the body of Christ, if you're out there slashing and gashing and gnashing on people, if you're like preaching and, and just preaching and preaching and preaching and pounding and pounding and pounding and yelling and yelling and yelling and screaming and screaming and screaming and doing this and that and the other thing in order to get everybody saved, I think you're working too hard. Could you maybe like take it down a notch? Maybe like move it over a little bit, kind of like lift up the arms and see what it smells like. Because I think you got some stinking going on. Maybe not. Maybe this isn't for you. Maybe, just maybe, your righteousness that you're working on is okay. Or maybe, maybe, if you took a bath, you know, and you kind of lay back in that hot water. You kind of just looked up at the ceiling. You kind of thought about God. You might say, you! <laughs> and get your attention. Me? Lord? Are you talking to me? Check out your spiritual hygiene. Think about what the Lord might smell you as. Are you praying for people? Or are you just preaching at people? Are you caring about people? Of what you are affecting them with? Of how you smell, really? And with this nose, believe me, I can smell you. <laughs> and sadly, a mile away. So, don't just try to cover your tracks. 
Let's get real with God for a few. Let's kind of like sit down and take stock of ourselves. Let us wash ourselves with the water of the Word daily, looking to Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, that He would be real enough to speak to us in the bathtub. <laughs> if you're in the tub, great. If you're on the toilet, forget it. He doesn't want to know. Or whatever you do, in whatever you do, just make sure that you take the time for your spiritual hygiene because besides, you know, like uh, stinking, there's also bad breath. And in our series on spiritual hygiene, I think it's going to take a little time to get through the bad breath part. But for now, we're just working on your pits because I think you've been digging a hole and only God can bring you out of it. So today, please learn to pray more than you speak. Learn to kind of take the time to find out if God really wants you pounding and expounding upon someone and beating them to death with your Bible as opposed to maybe shutting up for a while and listening to what God might say to them, for them, through you, as you do for them what Jesus did. You know, every time that he had a towel around, he had a tendency of washing people's feet. As I'm washing mine, maybe you should be washing yours too. Because, frankly, I think you got them dirty stomping on someone. And you need to quit doing it. You need to stop, think, and realize God's concerned about your spiritual hygiene, and he wants you to know you stink. <laughs> Clean up. <laughs>